Hello everyone, welcome back. We are still constructing stuff. Now in this video, we are going to be constructing shapes. Let's jump right into the lesson. So here we're going to have our first triangle to construct. Now before we get constructing this triangle, let's just talk about the three different types of shapes we're going to construct today. We're going to construct triangles with all three sides given, triangles with two sides and an angle given, and last of all with two angles given and one side. You will need a ruler, a pair of compasses, and a protractor for this one. Let's jump right into this, this first question. So on this first one here, it says, make an accurate drawing of this triangle. The base has been drawn for you. So I know the bottom there is my base. It's eight centimeters. Let's go straight into it. So for this one, take your compasses, start at zero and open it to five on your ruler. So I'm gonna demonstrate with my virtual compasses here. So. I'm going to, you can see the bottom of it is already on zero. We're opening to five. And that's because the line on the left side of my triangle is five centimeters long. So I'm just going to go, make sure you're bang on there. Really, really accurate. And then you scribe an arc there. Now, anywhere on that arc is always five centimeters away from that point. Now on the next side of my triangle, on the right hand side, you need a seven centimeter line. So again, take your compasses, open it to seven. Don't forget, start at zero, open to seven. And then we go down to the other end of this line. Make sure it is super precise. And then we just scribe an arc there. Don't forget those blue lines are my arcs. They are worth marks on the exam. So please do not draw them and then rub them out. Keep them there. And secondly, make sure that they are not dark. They need to be quite light. So don't be too heavy on the compasses there. Anyway, now that we've got that, we know that the um, the vertex of the triangle at the top is where those two arcs cross each other. And we just need to make sure that we're super precise here. So we go to that end of the line, go to where the arcs cross each other, check it with the pencil before drawing, and then we draw that line there. Now, once we got that, I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to get my ruler in line here. And because I'm working with a virtual instrument, it takes me a little while to get it on point. I'm happy with that and draw that going down there. And just like that, that's my triangle done. Let's move on to the second question. So on the second one, we've been given two known sides and an angle. So this is where we're going to need our protractor. Let's have a look and see. Make an accurate drawing of this shape. The base has been drawn for you. The diagram is not drawn to scale on the right. Anyway, let's go. So they've given us the base. So they've given us that eight centimeters. So the first thing I'm going to do in this case is I am going to plot, do my 30 degree angle on the left hand side. You have to sort of make it exactly as it is there. So I'm going to get my protractor out. Make sure with your protractor zero, the line that's for zero is bang on that line, that baseline at the bottom. It has to be bang on it. Now, 30 degrees, you might be thinking, OK, I can open up to 30 and that's 30 degrees. And you are correct. But because the line is on the right hand side, it means that my zero is on the right hand side. So I need to start from there and then open up to that. 30 degree angle. The one on the other side was 150 degrees. I don't really want that. It's 30 from the left going up. And that's not what we want. We want it from the right. So the important point here, always check to see where your zero is. And in this case, my zero is here. It is not on that side. Anyway, let's go get my 30 degree angle there. I take my pencil and I mark off that 30, as you can see there. And then once I mark off that 30 degree angle, that's my mark there. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to draw a line going through that point. So 
let's make sure we draw it nice and long. We can obviously draw it up to six here because you can see it on the ruler. So you can draw this up to six, but I'm gonna shoot past six and I'll tell you why. Sometimes the examiners really want to see those um, construction lines. They want to see those arcs and curves and things. And this one, I don't really need any arcs and curves. I can literally draw that line two six and stop. But in case they're looking for it, I'm just going to humor them for a minute. So I am going to use my compasses. So I've drawn that line a bit longer than I really need to. Okay. Now I'm going to take my compasses. I'm going to measure six there. And then I'm going to go to the end of that line. And bear in mind, as I've just said, I really don't need to do this, okay? And I'll scribe an arc there, just for the sake of setting, satisfying the examiner. If I put my ruler back, you'll see it's bang on six. Okay, good. Now, I just need to take my ruler and go to the other end of that line right there. Make sure it's really super precise. Go to that point where the line and the curve meet and boom, there is my triangle done. Okay, let's go to the last question for today then. So on this one, they've given us two angles. Now on this one, I don't need my compasses at all. This is actually quite an easy one to do and fairly um, straightforward in that you shouldn't make a mistake. Let's go. Make an accurate drawing of this. The base has been drawn for you. Let's go. Now to get an angle, I need my protractor here again. And on the left hand side, it needs to measure 30 degrees. And don't forget what we said in that last questions question we've done. So make sure it's bang on in the center there. I'm still not happy with it. So, um, and I would say in this case, this is what a carpenter said to me when I was a child, measure 10 times, but cut once. Same thing here. Take as much time as you need to make sure it is precise because when you draw, it needs to be accurate. So in this case, I want a 30 degree angle, but I want the 30 degree angle on the right hand side. So go to the right, that's my zero, go up to 30 degrees there and make sure it's happy with that and mark that off. So that's my marked off 30 degrees. I'm gonna take my ruler now and I'm gonna go to the end and I'm going to draw a line that's longer than it really needs to be. So I'm gonna go through that point and that's my 30 degree line there, 30 degree angle. Okay, now I need 80 degrees on the right hand side. So let's get the protractor back out. And I am now on this side now. So my angle is no longer here. 80 degrees would be up there. That's not what I want. I want 80 degrees from this side. So always check for your zero. In this case, my zero is on the left. I'm gonna open up to 80 degrees there. Make sure it is bang on. Scribe a little line there. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to go through that line. So make sure it is bang on that end point, it needs to be spot on. And then through that line, don't worry about it being too long. And just like that, it is finished. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of our video today. Did you like it? Did you learn something new? If you did, hit that like button. And if you haven't as yet, subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you always know when a new video has landed. But for now though, until I see you on the next one, peace.